Hello, everybody. Welcome back to D Diets. If you're new here, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It's that red button right over there. Turn it gray and make sure you ring the little bell because I don't put videos out every single day. I just don't. So we are now at the end of the second month. Yes, we're in the eighth week. It's the last day. We are in it. Oh my goodness. Did I get on the scale? Yes. Did I bring the camera in the bathroom? Yes. Do you get to see my ugly feet? Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. And we will see what the scale says. But I do want to go over a few things with all of you, and I did write them down. First of all, I said time passed very quickly doing this, and it really did. And I call it an experiment. You all know I called this an experiment because I was not calling it a diet. I, if you notice, I didn't use the word diet in many of the videos that I put out because it really was an experiment to see whether or not I could do this. If you are plant-based, you just gave up a lot of stuff. And if you're new to my channel, I gave up all protein. That's all meat. That's all fish. That's eggs. That's all dairy, all cheeses, all butter, all milk. Gone. Gave up sugar. Yes, I did. And gave up all fats, oil, butter, all of it. All of it. So when I tell you it was an experiment, it was definitely an experiment. Now, did the experiment work? Yeah, it did. It really, really did. Will I go into a third month? Absolutely, I'm going to go into a third month. But there are other things I wanted to talk about because some people, I have some things written here. When a lot of people hear that I'm plant-based, they right away think vegetarian or vegan. And I'm really not. Plant-based means if you're getting it from a tree, if you're getting it from a bush, if you're getting it from a vine, if it's being dug from under the earth, you can eat it. So vegans and vegetarians, a lot of them, most of them, they're having oil products. They're having, uh, let's put it this way, potato chips, they're vegan. Uh, Coca-Cola, that's vegan. And Oreos, those are vegan too. Yeah, they are. So you can fry food if you're a vegan. You can fry food if you're a vegetarian. I'm not. I am plant-based. So there is a difference. And this was wild, wild for me to do. I am being really honest with you. This was wild. But I'm going to show you a picture of Doug and I. Do you remember when we were doing the questions in the back room here? on the floor, and we were having a blast, him and I. Well, this picture right over here, if you would see, do you see my face? That picture is what made me want to start dieting. <gasps> I said the word, ah! I should have this sliced because I don't want to say the word no more. When you say that word, you're setting yourself up for failure. I mean it, you're setting yourself up for failure. Don't use the word, don't use the word. Uh, so this, again, this picture, my face was so bloated. And I thought, I've got to do something. I've got to do something. You are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, D. It's got to go. I came across Patty Too Mad right here. And I'm going to leave her link in the description box below. Patty is on a plant based diet herself. She went from a three exercise 12. She's quirky. She's funny. I love her and her husband. She, her husband, Rich. Hello, Rich. How are you, Rich? And she's been doing this, and this is her lifestyle. So I think only people that, are, that do plant-based, it's a, it's, a, it's a total different lifestyle. I'm going to tell you this right now. It is so different um, because it can be very difficult at times. At times. I'm only doing this for two months. I said it was an experiment. It was an experiment. Do not think for one minute, I do not want to dive into a chocolate cake. Please don't think for another minute, I would not want a juicy hamburger with cheese floating all over it. I would. The ticker wouldn't like it. The carotid arteries wouldn't like it. But I would love it. I would love it. Because I don't do this to meat. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't want to have meat. I enjoyed a good hamburger. But the way I'm feeling, the way how healthy I'm feeling, toss the hamburger and let me feel like this. And I really mean that, but I'm taking it one day at a time. Like I said in my last video, yesterday has already passed. You can't change yesterday. You have no idea what tomorrow is even going to bring. You have no idea. Focus on just today. Focus on today. Because with the word, dang it, I hate to say it, we do set ourselves up for failure. Because we always do this. Oh, 
I'll wait till Monday. I'll stop my Monday. I'm going to go out Monday. I'm going to get my stuff in my house. I'm going to get all my stuff. I'm going to do it this way. No, no, no. What you need to say is on Monday, I'm going to put myself first. I'm going to finally put myself first. I'm going to look in the goddamn mirror and I am going to say, I matter. And my daughter yesterday said to me and gave me this. I want to show you something. Can you see this bracelet? Can you see what it says? Worthy. And in these little charms, it says, I am worthy. And it's the one thing when you're a woman, hate to say this gentleman to you as you're sitting there and you might be watching me. You are bred to believe that you are the universe itself and that, you know, it's all about you. But women don't feel that way most of the time. Women are very uh, um, maternal and we are. So we want to reach out and help this one and help that one and make sure this person's okay. And we never put ourselves first. Well, you know, guys, I'm 61 years old. I think it's about time I put myself first. And I, it may sound selfish, but you ain't good for nobody unless you are taking care of you first. And that's the truth. So I said to myself, before the, um, honestly, before this starts again, and well, it's right around the corner now, and this starts again, because it's right around the corner. I don't know what side it's going to go on. By the time this comes back around, I'd like to be at my goal weight. So that'll give me a year. Excuse me. I just had breakfast. I did a little burpee. So I'm putting myself first. I know it sounds selfish and I'm sure I don't want to have it come off. I come across that way, but it's very important to put yourself first, especially if you're somebody that really doesn't. And I really don't. Keep in mind, I have two channels. I have this channel and I have Buddy the Talking Bichon's channel. And that channel is a labor of absolute love, but it does take a lot of my time up. It does. And I'm willing for that time to be taken up. So I'm very choosy now where I put my time. I really am. If it's going to be over some crazy nonsense stupidity, I'm going to back away from that because my time is valuable. And ladies, I'm sure you understand when I say your time is valuable because there's only so many hours in a day that we can do everything. So I believe now I need to put myself first. And I've been doing it for the last two months. Not that I've been neglecting anything like, you know, family or friends or things like that. But what I mean by that is I have to say, you matter. You're worthy. You're worthy. So do you. Do you. Because at the end of the day, nobody else is doing it for us. So I have to do me. Now, should we have a little drum roll? Yeah. So let's see what the scale said. Here's a video of it. There you go. Can you believe it? I know. I can't believe it either. 202. 24 pounds in two months. Eating starch. Eating potatoes. Eating rice. Eating potatoes. <laughs> eating rice. Because it's the one thing you cannot believe that you're actually eating and losing weight on. You can't. And putting the beans on. You have to remember beans and potatoes. Peas, corn, they're all carbohydrates, guys. They're all carbohydrates. And I eat them. And I eat them in great quantity. But you know, I have other vegetables too. And I have fruits. And I enjoy myself. But if you are on a low-carb diet, uh, hello, throw the fruit out the window. Hello, can't have the carrots, can't have the peas, can't have the corn, can't have the potatoes, can't have the sweet potatoes, can't have the pasta, can't have the rice. Ugh, so you're left with meat and a salad and vegetables. Boring, been there, done that, and ruined my kidneys for it. So, and if you go back to my video where I was driving in the, that rainstorm, you'll see and you'll hear what happened to me. Now, do I think a low carb lifestyle is a bad thing? No, I don't, I really don't. Uh, but some people take it to the extreme like I did, which I just eat meat and fat, meat and fat, meat and fat, and shit, I lost 100 pounds in six months. Gained it all back and got very, very sick. I mean, that's the honest truth. Gained it all back and got really sick. So, I'm not making it long. See, here we go at 10 minutes and you guys got a chance to know 
how much weight I lost in another month. So I was very happy to say 10 more pounds, 24 pounds in two months. I have to say, I do feel better. I feel energized. I feel like I can do more. I hope if you ever have the opportunity, and I don't push anybody to do anything. If you have the opportunity and if you're overweight like I am, because this was me last year, guys. I was selling a product, and you'll see the apron on me. That is me at 237 pounds, and I was trying my hardest to take the weight off. I really, really was, but I creeped it back up because I missed my carbohydrates. I missed my potatoes. I missed my rice. I missed it. And I was very limited in what I was eating. I wasn't eating big portions of food. I can tell you that right now. I was eating small portions. Well, those days are out the window now. And I am going to stick with another month of this experiment doing plant-based. And until I see you all again, my friends, please take care of yourselves and be kind to each other. The heart, that's all that's ever going to matter. Take it easy. Bye-bye, my friends.